Good morning guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another vlog in London. So we're starting off the day with having breakfast obviously. We got up quite at a reasonable time and we actually got ready pretty quickly, I'm impressed. Um, but we've come to Costa for breakfast and I got this breakfast wrap which I've never had before. So I think that'll be interesting to try. She was like, do you want any sauce? No, she was like, what sauce do you want? And I was like, no, then she just kind of looked at me. I was like, I know, but it looks interesting. It's got sausages, bacon, I don't know what else, mushrooms or something. Mm. That's good. I'll rate it. And then um, I got an orange juice. Emily got a croissant. Do you have anything on your croissant? No, just plain. I have that as well, and people are always like, why don't you have like jam or anything on it? I just have it plain. Have you got tea? Yeah. I need tea to wake up. <laughs> You're like typical like British person and I'm not. <laughs> I'm just like, oh, I've got my orange juice. But anyways, today is a really exciting day. The day that we've basically been waiting for for ages. As you can tell, I've got my friend's t-shirt on. And me and Emily, we're like the biggest Friends fans, aren't we? Yeah, that's fine. And today we're going to Friends Fest, which... When did you book it? Like, we started all year, so like, yeah. And we're so excited, we've been waiting for it for the longest time, so... Once we have breakfast, we're gonna head... Is it Kennington Park or something? Kensington? Something like that. We need to get the tube there, and then we're gonna go to Friends Fest, so it'll be a really good vlog. If you're a Friends fan, then you'll, like appreciate this vlog I think. So we're really excited because we've seen like pictures online and stuff of what it's going to look like and what's going to be there. And um, yeah, I'm sure you've seen loads of pictures on my Instagram as well because like, there's going to be loads of options to take photos like on the sofa and by the door. And we're basically just really excited because we're the biggest Friends fans ever. <laughs> Guys, we just made it. Oh my god, that leaf <laughs> scared me. It's just a leaf. We made it, we're just queuing up, and oh my god, it's so exciting. How happy are you to be here? So happy, so excited. Yeah. Oh, there's gonna be so much to do, and the weather is actually beautiful. Touch wood. Yeah. I did say it was gonna be raining, but oh my god, it's exciting. There's Phoebe's cab. I want to do the one where you get the wedding dresses on. <laughs> we just had our phone taken at the door. You can check out my Instagram because I'm going to be posting like all the pictures. Isn't this so cool? Oh my god. We're going to get our photo taken here now. <laughs> There's literally three members just to take our photos. It's great. Okay, let's go. So we just got more photos taken and now we're going into Central Park. Wow, this is crazy. so cool. Oh. Actually feels like we're like properly on the friend set. It's so weird like after watching it for so many years. We're gonna get our photo taken outside Central Park and then we go around there and we can get our photo taken in Central Park. See that again. <laughs> I love when um, she did the TV advert for yeah. that. <laughs> smelly, smelly, really, really red. <laughs> oh, we're gonna go in. This is exciting. Oh, you can sit at the um, bar, but. <laughs> Look at that old computer, <laughs> that old laptop. <laughs> I can't wait to sit there and get a photo yeah. with the guitar. <laughs> stage. <laughs> Whoa. This is awesome. We're having the best time. We both just said the cake looks really good but it's obviously like fake. But oh this is so cool. This is where like Rachel always sits eh? when she's supposed to be working <laughs> instead she just sits there. <laughs> So we're out of Central Park, wasn't it awesome? Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna, I think I'll insert the photos in this vlog because yeah. like, quite a lot of photos more than videos I can take. But we just got a picture in Phoebe's cab, which is over there. And now we're gonna dress up in wedding dresses. How do you feel about that? Uh, <laughs> It'll be a laugh, yeah. but we're gonna look absolutely ridiculous. But 
I think the photos will be funny. Yeah. <laughs> oh gosh, this is literally my favourite thing. It's so much fun. It is. We have no idea what's down there. Like, there's a stage, but we were just saying how cool it would be if it was Friends episodes. <laughs> that would... I didn't get a chance to film us in our wedding dresses because he was like, oh, can you take them off as soon as we got our photo taken? But I'll insert the photos because it was so funny. Like, the photos turned out really well, didn't they? <laughs> it, was, it was so funny because and we had to get down on one knee and propose to me. I didn't know what to do with my hand. <laughs> How do you propose? Yeah. I know, I just wasn't expecting it, you know? <laughs> but now we're going here and we get to sit in front of the fountain. I don't know if you can see it. With the umbrellas. Oh, it's really dark. That. We're now going to recreate the pivot scene. <laughs> so we just did like loads of poses on the sofa and we got a video made so you would have seen it because I've got it emailed to me and it's really cool isn't it? But we had to be like really quick and like do different poses so it's a bit stressful. <laughs> now we're doing this like silly poses one so we have to get um, some accessories. Ooh, what are you going to choose? Not glasses. No, no. I'm going to get this one. I think. <laughs> Let's see. Oh wow. got drinks from Central Park and Luke come with this little cardboard bit. I'm gonna take that off and keep it as a souvenir. Emily's got hers as well. And then there's Friends episodes playing. Oh you can't see but on the screen over there. But for some reason they're playing music over it. I don't know why. And I also got a chocolate muffin as well. So we were just watching Friends for quite a bit weren't we just like sat there watching. It was like all the best bits. It was so funny. And now um, it's our set tour time so um, we're going to go like see the set of friends which is exciting um, so we're just queuing up but there's like this timeline here of friends which I'll show you as we go along yeah we're just waiting Hi, I'm Kevin Bright, executive producer and director of the TV show Friends, and I'm here at Comedy Central's Friends Fest with all of my friends. I'm so happy. <laughs> I feel so honored that, that people care so much about the show. I can't believe we're here. Oh, you can write something. Three minutes left, everybody. Three minutes. 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 Three minutes.
we just pets. got bagels, like the biggest bagels ever. Oh, and we're yeah, sitting watching friends. So whilst we were just sat there eating our um, bagels, this guy came on the stage and then he like said that they were doing a friends quiz. So me and Emily were in a team. What was our team name again? Falange. Falange, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> I just quickly said that. Um, and they asked us like questions and they were really difficult questions yeah. weren't they? It wasn't like, you know, it was like about who played who and like what actors played whoever like yeah. the names of like of who played Gunther and stuff and we didn't really know that because we only know like the main actors names so like we were really bad at that but then they were like okay so the final question whoever gets this question right wins so they were like how many um, Friends episodes is there all together and we were just like trying to do math and yeah. we were like oh there's so many <laughs> well, no, you were doing the maths. You were like, oh, there's 10 seasons, roughly like 23, 24 episodes. Yeah. So then you were like, oh, add, add that all together. And I was like, uh, just a random number. I said, what was it, 236? Yeah. Because he came to us and he was like, what's your answer? And I was like, yeah, 236. And then he said, someone got it bang on. <laughs> I got it bang on. It was actually us. Yeah, he said that the person who got closest would win, but I got it bang on. Like, it was just crazy. The random number came into my head. Yeah. Yeah, I know. So we won. We'll show you our um, prizes when we get back because it's in Emily's bag right now and it's just it's raining so bad. But I just can't believe that we won. I know, me neither. Friends first quiz. Yeah. <laughs> We're true friends fans. And also we also um, bought um, friends like merch t-shirts as well for the gift drop. We'll show you that as well when we get back. But I'll show you the way it's actually unreal. Oh my god. I don't want to go out in that. So we're now back in the hotel room, um, but I just wanted to show you what um, we got at the gift shop. So this is the t-shirt, we both got the same one, so it says like Friends 25th because it's like Friends 25th birthday. And then it's, oh wait it's not, you can't see it, but there's like the tour dates on the back of it and it's really cool. And we both got it in extra large so then we can wear it to bed like as an oversized t-shirt. And then, oh here it is, this is what we won because we were the masters of the quiz. We won the quiz. We got our own mockalit to try. We'll have to try that later. See what we think of it. Oh my God, it's even got the Friends of Television series on the back there. And then we got these as well, which was so funny because we were looking at them in the gift shop before and we were like, oh, we want to get them. But um, yeah, thankfully we didn't because then we won them. So these are like tech stickers that we can put on our laptops or our phones or anything. So yeah, that is what we won. I still can't believe we won. <laughs> I never won anything in my life yeah. and we won friends of all things. Yeah. I'm so happy. Yeah. And also, <laughs> I'll show you my little carrier bag as well because I just love it. <laughs> I'm going to keep that as well. But anyways, we're going to head down to um, the restaurant um, in the hotel because that's where we're just eating today because it's just easy for dinner and we don't really want to go out because it's really cold <laughs> and um, yeah apparently the food here is really good according to Emily yeah. so I think we're gonna have pizza because you can put your own toppings on it so yeah looking forward to eating because my stomach's been making <laughs> the weirdest <laughs> noises so I think it's telling me I'm hungry oh my mascara is like all under my eye as well. So this is my dinner. You guys might be surprised that I have a salad. I didn't see that it came with that, but I'll try and eat some of it. But I got lasagna for a change. They actually don't do pizza. They're out of pizza because they have no cheese. <laughs> and you got the what curry? Thai curry, Thai, Thai vegetable curry. curry. 
Ooh, that actually looks really nice. Oh, and you're yeah, healthy as well. Yeah. <laughs> Look at us. It's a change days. Good morning, guys. So it is our last day in London. I'm looking an absolute mess. I've got like mascara still under my eyes from yesterday. I thought I'd taken it all off, but obviously not. I've got wet hair. Um, because I'm just going out of the shower and I've got those spots. But anyways, yeah, today is our last day in London, which is really sad because it's just passed so quick. But we've had such a good trip. Um, and today we're just gonna have sort of a like chilled day just like shopping just you know we're not in a rush to be anywhere because we don't have anything planned today apart from obviously my flight but i don't have to leave till like five i think to get my train to gatwick airport so we're just gonna do a bit of shopping kind of you know eating and stuff like that you know the best things ever um but yeah i'm gonna get ready dry my hair do my makeup and then we need to pack and then check out of our hotel and then we can just go and shop but yeah i don't know how much i'll be able to film just because i get really nervous vlogging in london but also especially like in shopping centers and stuff they're a bit funny about if you film there so we'll see what i can film but yeah, I need to pack my suitcase because this is what it's currently looking like. And then hopefully I can make some room for if I do any shopping. Because I actually haven't bought anything apart from like something from the friends gift shop. And I thought I would buy a lot more. So maybe I'll see some stuff today. We're going to Typo because it's got a cool friends display. Emily and I really wanted these because just look how cool these water bottles are. And I've not seen one like that before. But it's like £20. Now only 15 but still for a water bottle expensive so we're just filming it so we can remember it instead we found the friend section and i'm getting this case for my instax which is so cool i've never seen anything like this and there's loads of notebooks as well and mugs just everything we're in lush and look at this it's rudolph oh his ear i mean his antler is a bit Oh, it's so cool. Oh my god, I'm gonna drop it. <laughs> Stay. <laughs> Look at all of these. This is the biggest luck I've ever seen. It's got stairs. <laughs> so, Emily and I have been shopping on uh, Oxford Street, but I haven't really filmed that because we are like security guys and all this stuff. I, I get too scared because normally they tell me off. But, anyways, now we're in threat. Lunch. Um, we both got the same thing. Yeah. We got what was it, bacon and free, free, and I didn't know what free was, but apparently it's a cheese. Yeah. Um, yeah. Wait, I've got yours because mine's tired. <laughs> it looks really nice. Is it yummy? Yeah, very nice. Can't wait to try mine. And you got an iced tea, uh, green, green tea. tea. Ooh, and I got my favourite drink, which I always get when I come to Pret, which is the orange and passion fruit one. And it's so nice and refreshing. And we're sitting at the window, so we can be. People watch <laughs> and see the world go by. And I am back home as you can see. I haven't actually spoken to you guys in ages But like I said um, this morning I knew I wasn't gonna film much because like I said I was just shopping all day and there's not much you can film um, but Yeah, I managed to film a couple of clips at the airport But you guys know that I hate filming when I'm alone in public I mean it's bad enough when I'm with other people but when I'm just on my own I feel like more people look at me and I'm more aware of people looking at me and I know that I should be used to it by now but it's something that I'm still trying to work on but anyways um yeah there wasn't really much to film at the airport anyways because I was in a rush because I missed the train that I was initially supposed to get um so i had to get a later one and then obviously i was running late at the airport so i had like 20 minutes um to order something to eat and then eat it like 20 minutes all together and then pay the bill and everything and then i had to like run to my gate um but i'm so proud of myself because i actually ate in a restaurant like by myself i've like ate in cafes before by myself um because I've done quite a bit of traveling like well not quite a bit but most of the traveling that I've ever done I've done on my own so I'm more used to traveling on my own in fact like 
it's only a couple of times that like I've travelled with my mum or whatever but all the other times I've just been on my own so I've ate at like cafes in the airport by myself and stuff like that but um, yeah I actually ate in a restaurant by myself so I was proud of myself for that um, I did feel a bit awkward and just like people were staring at me but they weren't but I just didn't know where to look because I was on my own I was like oh it just felt weird because I'd never ate in a restaurant before on my own because normally like if I went to the airport I would just like get something like a sandwich or something even though it was dinner or I would just be like oh I'll just get dinner when I get home even though it's going to be really late but today I was like no Lucille you're gonna do it so I went to a restaurant at the airport and I got pizza but I got too spooked to vlog because I was already spooked about being there on my own so I'll insert a picture of my pizza it was absolutely delicious um so yeah then I got on my plane and I was initially like sat in between two um people like I was in the middle seat and then they both got asked to move to like level the plane out like balance the plane out so then I just got a window seat and I got the whole row to myself so I managed to film a little clip um of me coming home on the plane because I know that on the way there I did not film and that was because I was sat in the middle of two people again and I was like no way am I taking my camera out um but yeah now I am home and I just want to round off this vlog um by just telling you guys about my experience I feel like I didn't really do great at vlogging because I was just enjoying myself in the moment and I just wanted to you know not film everything I feel like I did film quite a bit of friends fest which I'm happy about because that's what I basically wanted to document like most and yeah I wanted you guys to see as well so um I think I did like a good balance this trip like I spent quite a lot of time with my friends just like off camera but then I also like did a good balance of vlogging as well but yeah honestly friends fest was the most amazing thing ever me and emily had the greatest time i honestly just enjoyed every single minute of it and it's something that both of us have always wanted to do and like i said we're both massive friends fans so it just felt like the most like amazing surreal experience ever and the photos that we got were so incredible and we've got so many great memories as well and I'm just so happy that we went it was so much fun honestly I would recommend it if you're a friends fan and I can't believe we won the friends quiz like come on and yeah it was just so much fun I had such a great trip away um but yeah I wanted to show you what I got whilst I was shopping I didn't really actually buy that much but I feel like I spent enough like on the actual like trip itself with like the things that we did like the Lion King musical and Friends Fest and then just like food in London in itself is so expensive and transport um but like I didn't really see much that I actually wanted which was actually a good thing um but I got this from Pool and Bear it's this t-shirt which says shine like the sun yeah shine like the sun so yeah I thought that was really nice that was 9 .99. and then like I said to you guys I got this um friends case but I don't think you could see it very well when I showed it to you in the shop so it's a hard case for my instax mini and it has friends all over it like written all over it I couldn't remember which instax mini I had but thankfully it's Instax 9 and it says it's for that so I was happy about that because I was like I cannot remember what Instax I had and it was in my suitcase which was back at the hotel so I could even check um, but luckily it fits and I, I love it so much like I never thought I'd get a friend's one I didn't think that they would do that and then obviously I showed you guys my t-shirt but I didn't take out the packaging and like I said I got it an extra large just so I can use it as like a night shirt so it says friends 25th because it's the friends 25th anniversary or birthday whatever you want to call it and then it has the tour dates on the back of friends fest which I just love like whenever I go to a concert or something like this I like getting the t-shirt with the dates on the back because I think it's just such a great um like mem is it called memorabilia it's good for memories <laughs> i don't know how to explain it um but what else did i want to say i don't know i feel like that was it i just really hope you guys enjoyed um the london vlogs i know the the days that we were shopping i didn't film and i do apologize for that um but i did film friends fest which is what i wanted to do and also like like i said it's so difficult to vlog in london i really just find it so difficult 
I swear it's easier to film anywhere else but in London no I'm just so stressed like getting on the tube and everything and there's so many people and everyone's in a rush the last thing I think about is filming um so I do apologize for that but I still hope you enjoyed it I don't know why I'm so worried I just worried that I'm a rubbish vlogger but anyways um yeah I had the most amazing time I'm gonna go to bed now because it's 20 past midnight no it's half past midnight now and I need to get up early for work tomorrow yeah, it's been so nice having three days off from work that was just a nice little break and it was just nice to go away for a few days so I really loved it um yeah give the vlog a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it don't forget to hit the subscribe button thank you so so much for watching guys oh check out my instagram um because there'll be all the photos from friends fest on there thanks so much for watching and I'll see you again very very soon bye